Now, did you notice? I've got my baby in that baby in that baby knife. Did you notice? Yours is copper. He told me he was going to send you one. That was copper. He also sent me one that was copper. Damn it, did he? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. No, actually, mine is different. It's something else, but it's not copper. It's something. Welcome different. to the Whiskey Vaults. I, oh, I started pouring already. <laughs> I was so ready to drink this one. I'm just really curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. First, let's, let's do it. I'm Daniel. Yes, right. This is a gift from a magnificent bastard, Brian Smith. Brian Smith, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> I swear to God, if we got that wrong, Brian Smith, we are morons. Burn Smith. <laughs> uh, this is 14 year old whiskey. Okay. Ooh. This is called La. Schoonover Straight Bourbon Single Barrel. La. 14 year old, unfiltered, uncut, Ooh. so it's cask strength. It's ringing in it. 100.3 proof. Okay. And. Ooh. Ooh, that is honey walnuts, and there's a waxing. I went them. straight to a bag of walnuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all wood, tannin, walnut wax. Yeah, it was like then if, it's if you candied. kept walnuts in an oak barrel and then now sprinkled I, some sugar on them. You know what it is? You ever go to the uh, either a state fair or some event, and they sell you candied walnuts in a brown paper bag? I'll tell you where I have had that. South Carolina. No. They'll have boiled peanuts. Oh, that's right. They're it's boiled peanuts. really a travesty. Don't yeah, get yeah. me started. Hey, you in South peanut Carolina. Stands. Look, soggy salted white cardboard is not a thing. Stop <laughs> trying to make it a thing. Where do you get the bag of it's peanuts? It's horrible. Or, it's, not, or, it's not a bag. Nuts. It was the weirdest place. It was the first restaurant I ever went to whenever I moved to Austin in like the first grade. Mm. It was a little Chinese place uh, called um, Hunan. It's no longer in business. But me and my family became regulars and we. For as long as we lived near that part of town, called them crispy walnut. Ah! Because you would get the like the little sweet sugary mm. walnut things. And for the longest time, I thought this was an Asian thing, like a Chinese yeah. food thing. Now it's not. Yeah. It's crispy walnut. Super good. But that's what it smells like. Yeah. Yeah. With the, there's a dark um, tea underneath that too. Oh, oh, and I just got um, uh, coffee the, cake. I'm really liking the nose on. I just got cinnamon dusted coffee cake. Yeah. With that cinnamon swirl that mm -hmm. goes in the middle of a, uh, mm -hmm. if they do coffee cake with a cinnamon swirl. Drake's coffee cake? Oh, yeah. That's a thing I remembered. Uh, so, this was Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> Can, go ahead. That was then uh, brought to Indiana. Yeah. Instead of sourced in Indiana and brought somewhere else. Yeah. They brought Tennessee whiskey to Indiana. This is Hard Truth Distilling. This is. And they named it after a Indiana. famous person in Indiana. This is a nice Tennessee whiskey. On the nose so far, haven't tasted it yet, but I have high hopes. Hopefully, it mm -hmm. doesn't let me down. I agree. Yeah, shoot over, shoot over, uncut up the sugar. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Got a little, little sass in there. Sassy. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm deleting comments for you. Um, I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's not, it, it, right now it tastes like everything I said it smelled like. The palate is really close, but. There is a, a basically the moment missing in the body of this whiskey. Mm -hmm. Like there's this hollowed out part near the finish. Mm -hmm. It does sort of, it doesn't drop off a cliff. It just goes like some of the depth got sucked out of it. Mm -hmm. It goes, Thin and shiny and brittle yeah. and kind of sharp edge. You know what? Zesty. Yes. That's the word. That's the right word. It is zesty. Yeah. It's not quite a citrus flavor, but the feeling of like an orange peel, that zestiness, that, Absolutely. High, that high acidity that leaves in your mouth. Where it's almost, almost bitter. Yeah. Right. Like one time I made an apple pie and I misread the recipe mm -hmm. and I put way too much zest from the outside of the thing. in. And I took, we baked it and we got it out. Look, delicious. One bite and you're, my face inverted. <laughs> like straight, it's like worse than a sour warhead or something like that. It's yeah. like, whoa, that was way too much zest. <laughs> and that's all of a sudden, that's what that's reminding me of a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like the nose a little bit better than the palate, but it's still a nice palate. It's just more complexity. More layers on the nose, mm -hmm. but still a really nice whiskey on the on the taste there. 
Ooh. And you go back and you have that overly steeped tea, mm -hmm. which is not hard to find in a lot of American whiskey. Then the caramel, yeah. I'm still just getting all the things I said on the nose, plus that ripped out yep. zest, citrus zest. We need a tribe episode. This is Brandon Knight of all people. Yeah. We need a tribe episode depicting the Great Biscuit War of 18. <laughs> Hands and Fancy Dan. That was well before Get their time. was well before their time. That, yeah, they're not hey. even going to know about the Biscuit War. <laughs> they have no frame of reference. But people still, it's still so remembered that my last shipment, someone sent shortbread cookies to Dude. me. Yeah, cookies. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> no, did I just answer the war? <laughs> ah! You got the, like three years later, you get the last word. <laughs> just a sniper hiding in the tree line for three years. <laughs> to a papa! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Damn it! It's like that Japanese guy who didn't realize the war was over for like 30 years. He kept trying to fight it on the island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uncle Mike's, Mikey's world said, does waxing the bottle have any other function than protecting it and sealing it? And realistically, it looks fancy. It's mostly just looks. Yeah. It's not, doesn't seal any better than a, all the other seals they have on the market. Yeah. But it looks cool. And depending on how you do it, can be a tremendous pain in the ass to get off. Yeah. But that's why we have pocket knives. There's ways to do it that doesn't make it a pain in the ass. Yes. Generally, the coolest ways are the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. They, they <laughs> look amazing. <laughs> Then that's where it stops. Uh, so I, I gotta say, I have to rate the nose highly, more highly than the taste. Absolutely, it's uh, I. I love the first third of the palate, and then it just goes sideways for me. Mm -hmm. Nose is magnificent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the bottle too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool bottle choice. Cool bottle choice. Did you see through there? Cool bottle choice, bro. Look in the light. Oh yeah, you, there's a picture of a dude. Yeah, it's a dude. Wow. He's all grizzled and. Shit. Yeah, I don't know that I noticed that just on the blackness of the wearing you can see on this side. Wearing pelts. That and must be Shuniver. He's got some type of animal hat. And his beard is so beard that it looks like it went down here and then it said I can't do any more beard. Then he has like more beards coming off the side of his head. <laughs> I think that's part of his hat. No. I think that's the fur coming off his fur hat. It's it's beard side head. Oh no, no, that's hair. That's hair coming down the side. Long hair. That's if long hair. You grew your hair out. Yeah. Which I think needs to happen. And then wore a beanie, so you would wore never have to see my bald head. Yeah, so it'd be like beard, beard, beard. <laughs> no, that'd just be hair. <laughs> the long hair and the long... Man, I wonder what my hair would look like. It was very straight when I grew it long. If it looked we, more like Joe. Look, if, if we started uh, GoFundMe, mm -hmm. Daniel's hair growing out fund. Six figures. And don't, then I'd, I'd consider it. Don't be a dick. Like No, six figures. Don't be a dick, like for real. <laughs> six figures. We're talking, we're talking real money here. You're being yeah. a dick. You're being a silly, <laughs> nonsense little boy. Be a man and give me a real number. 50 grand. We're starting at 50 grand. Now, I think starting 50 grand, once you take into account the generosity of this community, <laughs> That they has already, they've already paid forward way more than fifty thousand dollars. So nah. what I think is that you need to grow your hair out and start giving dividends to all the viewers of just here's money to thank them for watching. Nope. But my logic. <laughs> here's to buying, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a friend. Just, if you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, <laughs> may you drink with us. <laughs>